what's up guys how are you guys doing today so today guys don't be afraid to be different and have some fun and be yourself guys but it is currently 10 22 and uh there is sun outside today but right now we are headed to london back from London around an hour ago it is currently raining outside I don't know how well you guys can see that but um it's raining there you go there you go now you can see it but um it is raining and it was a fun day in London but it is now 739 the Pittsburgh Penguins are playing today I haven't really recorded anything today, which because we were in London the whole day, and it was just basically, we, I went to a college, which is called Fanshawe College, and it was all about like, a program I might want to go into, and it's called TV Broadcasting and Radio, and it was very interesting, they had like high tech camera gear, and all this high tech stuff, they have their own radio station, all of this cool stuff and I was really interested by it and all of that but um the penguins are playing Buffalo right now and it is 0-0 but this is redemption time for the penguins against Buffalo because the last game they played against Buffalo it was an offside call that was controversial it was offside but it wasn't offside um Rasmus Dahlin he he went offside but supposedly he didn't go offside because he had the puck possession but it, it was a controversial play view it as how you view it but I say it's offside but yeah so the Penguins have 85 points tonight if they win tonight they can get 87 points which is really really good and I really want them to win because it'll make them more it'll make them have more games on um, Carolina so tomorrow we are going to the movie theater to watch Captain Marvel which is gonna be fun but I believe that is the okay end of the first it's zero zero penguins and sabers but um yeah so we're gonna go to see Captain Marvel tomorrow which should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing Captain Marvel. So we're going at like 11.30 tomorrow morning. Because I have to work later uh, later in the night. And I have to work from like 5 to 8. So we're going at 11. And I'm really excited to see this. But yeah guys. So I am just going to go downstairs and watch the Penguins game now. I just got done watching the Penguins game. It's currently 10:01, and the Penguins ended up beating the Buffalo Sabers 5-0. So they're still third in the Metropolitan Division, but now they have 87 points. The Islanders are still second; they have 89, and Washington now has 91. They're first in the Metro. But uh, it was a very good game for the Penguins if you're a Penguins fan. Luckily, I'm a Penguins fan, so I was happy with the way the game was. But if you're a Buffalo fan, you're not so excited. But, yeah, so um, I was reading a comment on today's video, and I've read a bunch of comments on, like, how do I make my thumbnails? So I'm going to show you guys that now. <laughs> Be 
before you uh, have to edit the thumbnail, first you need to take the thumbnail. So I'm going to show you behind the scenes of taking a thumbnail. So I'm going to take it on this camera right here, my, uh, my big DSLR. So, so let's just do this here. Um, okay. So we're just going to want to, okay. Let's just zoom in. And there you have it. There's your thumbnail. And now I just have to take take out the SD card from that camera and uh, just put it to my computer and start editing. <laughs> So usually it's a video file and um, I basically just screenshot the best um, picture and so I think this is the best picture. I usually take my my uh, my pictures for my thumbnails in the morning because it has better, it has natural lighting and so I like that better but what can you do? It's the night now, and so um, I'm just going to screenshot it there. So now, oh, see, there's my other one. Um, but so it goes from like that. That so you see that there's my natural lighting, and um, here is like artificial lighting, I guess you could call it. But then I go to a website called um, here. Uh, now I just have to go to a website that I use all the time. It's called Pixlr.com, and so here here's what I usually do. So you go to the website Pixlr.com/editor. Um, so here's the URL. It's right there if it focuses. Um, but it, I'll put it in down below in the description. Um, it is a good website. And the dimensions you want are 1280, which is the width, by 720, uh, which is the height, 720 is the height, and 1280 is the width. You're going to want it to put transparency, and then you are going to want to export your picture from clicking layer, going to open image as layer, and then going to where you have that. And um, I have it on my desktop, so I'm going to click it on my desktop, and then it should be that. And then I go over to the lasso tool right here, and I start to outline the image that, I, that I'm using. So it's this image, and I just have my, my penguin's hat and my jersey on. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be the actual thumbnail I'm going to be using for this video. And... Um, I don't know, I usually get all these questions, I've done one of these, but like, my thumbnails have been, like, my thumbnail style has updated since the last time I did one of these, so, I decided, you know what, since a lot of people have commented, I'm going to do another one, so you're just going to want to go around, and then down here doesn't matter, but you're going to go back around here, and then through here, sometimes with thumbnails are not amazing, um, but this is like a beginner you can do so much better in photoshop i don't have photoshop but i use this is like online photoshop and it is free to use there is like it's free so why not just use it because it kind of does the same thing as photoshop although mm -hmm. photoshop you does it better but you can get good at it on this like i've been doing so many thumbnails and i'm not like the greatest but i feel like i've improved so after you get it to here and there see how it's outlined like that now you're going to want to go over to click uh you're going to want to right click and then press duplicate layer then right here you're going to want to add the layer mask and then 
go to adjustment and then color lookup. This is where you get all your colors from. Now you see how the color is different of the background. So um, I'm gonna want to pick like a faint, a faint. Um, uh, what color haven't I done in a while? Uh, let's go with like this color. You know what? That color is good. Um, and then um, I'm going to outline it. So you just go to. Um, you're gonna go to this right here, so layer styles, and then I usually do inner glow, and you can do like the size, like all the way there, but um, I usually stick with six and under, which is usually the best, but then I make the hardness all the way to a 10, and um, there, there's that, and, and then I usually do like um, a white, the white usually shows up the best. So let's go down to a six. So there's that, um, and then you can move it down and up and everything. Um, see, there's that, but now I just need, let's go to Photoshop, um, PNG, so I can get the Photoshop outline, and um, which I'm gonna put this in the top corner, and, uh, and then I'm gonna get a question mark. So I'm going to be putting the Photoshop logo in this top corner right here and um, here we go just make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna put it right there and um, now all we need is a question mark and there's basically your thumbnail um, it's pretty cool here, there you go, there's a perfect question. Actually, hmm, we might want to go with a black question mark here. Um, see what question mark is, there you go, there's the one. And then you're just going to save it, go to layer again, open images, new layer, and then go there, and then you're just going to want to, uh, here, um, so you're going to go to edit, free transform, you have to hold shift, to make it smaller and then you're just gonna put it there but since it's like here I'm just gonna have to make it uh, like white because so it'll show up better um, and then you can there you go there's the there's the thumbnail pretty much and now I just need an arrow um, so it can complete the thumbnail but that's how we do my thumbnails. Um, so we're gonna want like a th like an arrow like that. But see that arrow doesn't work because it already has um, like the the PNG on already before you click on the image. So that will not work. So I want like an arrow that's similar, like one of those. Um, here, let me just find an arrow. This arrow might work if it works. Um, hmm. I need a good arrow. Let's just go here. View more. Um, let's just find. We need a good arrow. One, preferably something like that. Hopefully. Um, I need. Okay. This might work. Yeah, there you go. That's going to work. Oh, no, I don't want to copy it. You have to save it again and put it into there. And you're going to have to find your arrow. There's my red arrow. So what I want to do now is I'm going to free transform. And I'm just going to, you see how it's rotating? You don't have to shift. You just have to rotate and get it to where you want it to be. And then you're going to, if you want it to be bigger, you just shift again. And there you go. That's basically my thumbnails and how I make my thumbnails. If you have any more questions, comment down below. I will try to, um, I will try. And here, you know what? I want to, uh, is, I want, maybe I'm just going to do, like, I don't, Maybe this is better. Um, 
Here I can I can outline this, so it's, it has a black outline on it now, and it just looks better like that. So if I want to, I can delete that, and then I can add more, um, because I feel like. I feel like it'll look better like this. And you just always go back and forth with yourself to see what like what's the better thumbnail. And uh, you can always like turn it. Oh, let's turn it the wrong way. Um, there, you can turn it like that. And then you can duplicate more. Yeah, I'm going to add like around four on each side. So there's like four, four good ones. And... Um, here let's go we need more of these over here and um now we're just adding a, a question mark so it's like does he use photoshop what does he use and uh yeah i kind of use photoshop is basically what i would describe this as it is pretty much it's photoshop and um there you go there's the thumbnail there there's the complete thumbnail guys so like I said before comment down below if you have any more questions I will respond to all of the comments that you have regarding this but yeah guys so I do believe that is going to have to end off today's video so I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys be subscribed to my youtube channel turn on my post notifications and smash that like button smash See Savage Minds, peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.